I've got it pulled up from the last time where we invited Alex Jones. And uh, the first uh, question comes from Mr. VG Masha. Q, are frequent save points in games a must for you? Parentheses, this stems from the controversy surrounding Returnal's lack of checkpoint save system. Bio Phoenix, I'm going to hand it to you. Um, I think they're pretty much like really good to have because you know like losing progress is like terrible <laughs> like i hate that shit that's like the one thing i really hate so i think having good mount checkpoints or good like saves like opportunities to save your game like if you want to like let's say you're playing an rpg you're going on like the world map like if you can save anywhere you want like i'm perfectly happy with that mm. I'm in agreement. I think just hand the player as much freedom to save as they need and as possible. Like, if you want to do that kind of challenge, like try and reduce saves, you can. Some games, like where they really make you go out of your way, like a Resident Evil, where you have to go for the typewriter and, you know, you have to use ink ribbon in order to save. I mean, sometimes it drags it a little bit, but I do kind of appreciate uh, the the sparsity. How do that you make sense in that game? game. Agreement. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a it's a game to game situation. Uh, I, I like that you said player freedom, but I would caution that if if you really want ultimate player freedom, you then have save states, which I don't know what your thoughts are on save states, but I mean that makes certainly makes classic games easier to get through. But it also hell yeah, of, give me save states. It also I'm okay with them. It also kind of breaks what they were going for. It breaks all any kind of difficulty they were striving to achieve. So. Yeah, I mean, if you have to design the game around or design the saves around the game that you're playing, so if it fits the game to be able to save anywhere, then go for it. If it's a challenge you're looking for, like use Resident Evil, which is a great example, I think they they handle saves in an amazing way. I, I think more games should strive to achieve that. So it just depends on the game. But um, isn't Returnal? Isn't that like a rogue, like roguelike game? I thought it was a misspelling. Yeah, uh, it, it it is. I don't know a lot about it though, but yeah, it, it is a roguelike type of game. So maybe that's just people being confused on like a triple A AAA game being a roguelike. Roguelike, sorry. Uh, I I guess. I I don't know the details of it. I haven't, I haven't looked into it, but it just seems weird that they would talk about save states in the game like that. I don't. I, don't I thought know. he was talking about Eternal Quest. Oh God, <laughs> that's a game that you have to use fucking save states to beat. <laughs> I don't Alex, know anything about it. I just know Terry likes it. Alex, what are your thoughts on save saves and games? Uh, I think it's genre to genre. I think yeah, RPGs stuff like that. It makes sense. I think some games um, take, for example, you said Resident Evil. It's a good example. That game, if you had save states or you know, save whenever you want, it would take the horror out of that game entirely because you could just reload whenever. Yeah. Um, I think platformers, a lot of platformers lose challenge when it comes to just free saves because you kind of lose the whole, the, like, lives are pointless, you know? You can just kind of save whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, also, I think a big example of a modern game that, that um, does it well without having um, saves whenever you want is Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls is, is kind of like checkpoint to checkpoint. And the whole point of that game is to die and learn. And if you were to just reload from from where you died, you know, like right, right where you died, it would lose the whole the whole meaning of the game. Yep. So yeah, I I think it's just genre to genre, honestly. Do you guys like the kind of roguelike? I tried sh like Sheer and Mystery Dungeon so many times, and I want to love it, but that game hands me my own ass by making me have to restart the whole damn game like every time you die. Don't suck. Yeah, no. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually have that on the Vita, uh, Shiren the Wanderer. It's a cool game. I love the, the graphics in it. It looks amazing for 2D animation. But, yeah, that game's really hard, though. Like, uh, I couldn't get, like, very far into that one. And I've played other roguelike games. I think there's a time and place for, for them where I can, like, I think they can be kind of fun. But it's definitely not the type of game where I feel like, if you're, like, one of those people who wants to, like, dedicate, like, a shit ton of time playing, like, just that one game over and over and over again, and you just keep dying, like, I think you're going to get burned out really quick. That's oh, what yeah. I tried to do with a lot of those other roguelike games, and I was just like, okay, I, I need a break. Like, this mm -hmm. is, like, too frustrating. <laughs> yeah. The flip side, too, is I have Shiren on the Wii, and that one lets you save chapter to chapter. But I'm stuck at a chapter where I'm underpowered and I can restart the chapter, but I can't grind enough within that chapter. 
So it's almost better to just restart the whole damn thing. So it's kind of like a catch-22. Oh, do you guys want to talk generally about feelings on safe states since that kind of came up as a topic? I don't have much to say other than that. I, nah. I'm i not going to lie. I, I use them. <laughs> yeah, I've used them. I just noticed that it, it kind of ruins games. Sure, but you it's your choice to use them. Yeah, if like I don't use them all the time, but I like if there are times where I'm like, eh, I kind of want to use them, or if I just want to use it just to save time. Like for an example, like I'm actually been playing a lot of uh, Minage Cap, believe it or not, and I use the save state like like every time I save like in the game, just so like I, whenever I boot the game up, I can just reload that save exactly where I save, so I don't have to go through the freaking beginning logo, whatever. <laughs> well, I I just think that when people have access to that. And, and like like a newer generation isn't going to understand a platformer in the same way, which is fine. It's whatever, but uh, them having access to that is going to change how they view a difficult game. I don't think a newer generation is even going to boot up the games that offer save states. I'm using save states, and I'm the older generation. Uh, but I also know how to use them, and if I want to abuse it, if the game's abusing me, well, you know, I'm throwing it back at it. I'm like, listen, I'm all about, like, sure, purist. You know, go ahead, play a game on the console it was intended for. I'll go out and get an N64 card of, you know, Majora's Mask, and I'll play it that way. Not to say the 3DS one, you know, gives you save states. But I also like the convenience factor. I think one of the best things about, you know, and it started really with the DS... But just being able to flip the system shut and keep it on battery save and then just load it up later if you're not getting that access to that save is like is a real boon to the system. And the Switch has that. You know, you keep it on power save. I love that. Same with the PS4. You know, you just uh, put it on power save. And it's not exactly save states, but if it makes being able to enjoy the games a little more convenient uh, in this modern day where, you know, we're getting pulled in all sorts of directions... I said, I'm I'm for it. I think it's with times. Uh, there's but there's a difference between convenience and save scumming, and I think sure. I think save states allow for a lot of save scumming, which is not ideal. Okay. Yeah, like every time you die into a hole, it's like oh, just gotta like redo that and pretend it never happened. Mm. Does think, it bother uh, you that people save scum? It doesn't bother me. I don't care. I mean, I I don't think there's one right way or one wrong way. It doesn't matter to me, but. I just I'd look at it in that way of like if the developer intended you to get through an entire area without, you know, like in one playthrough, like in one life. And now gamers can just like rewind to before they died and then just say, oh, OK, never mind. Dodge it. That thing sucks. It's, I hate rewind feature. Um, but that's what, what state I is. accidentally click it. Mm. It's the same thing. And not the same, like, because there's, like, in the, the Sega Genesis thing, if you click the L button, you can actually rewind, like, 10 seconds. You can watch your thing play backwards. Right, That's right. annoying. But, but, but theoretically, a save state is a rewind feature because you can save it where you want it and then just with a click of a button go back to that and be like, oh, I should have jumped a little higher on this one. And then um, yeah. I, think, I think if you save at all, you're not a true gamer. Oh, true. shit. Yeah, controversial <laughs> opinion time. All Gotta games are mystery go. dungeons. Gotta play it in one go. Hot take. <laughs> no saves. <laughs> Hot oh, take you want to beat uh, Persona 5 in one sitting? Well, uh, one yeah. Si no. I mean, just just leave your console and go, no saves. <laughs> I think I did beat Persona 5 Pauses. maybe in one sitting. Or one, one quote, 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 sitting. You just, with now, now the games are on rest, like, forever. Yeah. No, 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 no rest. No, no, no rest. No, <laughs> no rest. We're going to keep it on to the chair. <laughs> yeah, you, can't, you can't go to the bathroom. You can't get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> if you got to pee, you piss yourself. That's how this goes. Are you That's what the pee in Persona means. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't get Persona, that, extra whatever. Pee. You want a safe state, whatever, safe state. I mean, I've, I've used like the ones that devs put in games before to like learn the game, like Mega Man, for example. I've used those yeah. and, and like some of the classic Mega Mans to just learn the game. Yeah. Um, so uh, it can be a cool tool if you're, you know, want to go back and play some of those old challenging games. I did the same thing with Mega Man 1. I, I used save states, not like abuse them, but I, I would um, like because it's you get three lives per level and sometimes yeah. they'll be cruel. And so I would do that, but then I actually went ahead and I played the original back without using any save states immediately after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I just save right before the boss. It's basically the same thing as like having 
infinite lives. Especially with those NES games, man. Like, like I don't know. Do you want to play an NES game the way it was intended to be played, Spence? No, I choose not to play NES games. I have no desire. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't want to play Ninja Kid or whatever? <laughs> Ninja Kid Radical Ninja, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Join us next time for Clue Clue Land, No Save state all 20 can you even save in quickly yeah. land I don't know what, if you, <laughs> <laughs> you can't even save it half these what are the rules <laughs> you play till your eyes burn there we go. you play till you die <laughs> <laughs> two players two clue clue lands only one will come out alive <laughs> to the death <laughs> to the death all right let's uh Hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe to them button mappers.